hey, here's this one zero to death you can do. It's like, here are all of the different ways in which you can use your Z drops, Nair to recatch the gyro, and then end up with a kill conversion. So we'll see exactly how rehearsed Dill is with that. Up throw, fair, down tilt jab. I love that. Yo, 35 off the bat. Yo, body slam. Gotta keep him in check. And that flamethrower, I've seen the do massive damage. If people just try to contest it for a long period of time. And Bowser losing his kill confirms off up throw, but still able to retain some low percent combos. We saw it right there. Up throw to the fair, that high arc on the swing. Yeah. Able to take Dill out of the skies. And now he's stuck in the corner, man. All that damage just built so fast between the fire breath, the up throw, and just the consecutive ledge traps. Yeah. And good job to Dill to just up tilt out of the disadvantage. And is that going to take the stock? No. Cal is being one of the bigger stages in this game, allowing Dill to live. And we see Leon opting for the forward tilt at the edge, angled down as his preferred two-frame option. I guess that's better than down tilt, probably because uh, probably. the second hit of down tilt might not connect in yeah. that situation. Oh, and he's just going to come down with the flying slam as his tag indicates. It was right in front yeah. of you, man. There's no guesswork necessary. And the low percent grab combos into Nair. So I've seen Leon do falling Nair into side B, which has killed at ridiculous percents. So Dill needs to watch out. Mm, gonna pick up another one, knowing that when his opponent touches that platform, the fastest thing he can do upon landing is the shield. He's gonna get eaten right up by that flying slam, and yet another one. Yeah. So much damage every time, near 20. He's in his head. Ooh, love the falling neutral air, just anticipating where Dill was gonna be after that roll. Got the read. And another one. Yep, using the platform to his aid, but of course, cross stage is not enough. But that forward air, man, that high hitbox, it's so good for edge guarding, for juggles. It's like, it's like reminiscence to Melee Mars for there. Very much so. Yeah. I know a lot of Melee players, when they first started the game, they're like, yo, I like Bowser. This bear is nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, you can't do two in one short hop or, yeah. or jump away after the first one. So a bit more limiting than something like that, but still obviously a great tool. We're going to see Dill try to run this projectile storm. Intercepts the landing on the platform with up air. And we're going to see him take the first stock. But he's a big boy like Bowser, man. Making this kind of comeback can be so difficult. He could just trade repeatedly. Dill's going to have to be extra clean with his projectiles yeah. to keep Bowser at bay. Double, double fair into the flamethrower. And look at him. He's already at 65 damage. Oh, and nice use of the gyro to try to limit the options. But that's why we're at Kalos. The platform allows another option off ledge. Another thing severely improved for Rob in this game is his down tilt. It gives you that planted on the ground hit stun yeah. animation rather than popping you away. Ooh, love the gyro play here. What we're gonna see, no fair. Wow. Oof. Yeah, that certainly looked like the end of days for Dill, but wow, landing there, converting right into that for the game, man. Yeah. For the kill, for the game. All right, and the advantage in the set going to Leon right now. Again, one of the dark horses from Jersey. I don't think this guy was on a lot of people's radar nationally, no. but he's been making some really impressive statements. I believe he got a second place finish at a big Zeno. Okay. And I think he also got either first or second at a big Jersey monthly very recently as well. Yeah. I believe he got second. I want to say the first legacy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against Ling Ling? Yeah, against Ling Ling. Yeah. Second, no, I believe he got third. Okay, yeah, wishes, and it was Wishes and Ling Ling yeah. and Grants, yeah. All right, so again, Leon putting himself on the map as one of the real killers in this region. Bowser, even though he, again, lost that kill confirm with his up throw, looks like the character overall has just received some serious improvements from Smash 4. He's looking a lot better. This Bowser actually looks kind of healthy. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, fair down tilt, fair. Love the conversions that Dill is putting together as well, taking full advantage of his character's improvements. Mixing it up on them. And now walling them out with these bears. Keeping those landing options nice yeah. and unsafe for Leon here, who now bleeding out kind of heavily. Of course, Bowser's real heavy, so 95 isn't the scariest percent for him to be at, but still. Yeah, it's not something you really want. Then three and a half hits later, yeah. and he takes the first stock. All right. Okay. Okay, Leon. Wow. Oh, oh, no. no. Dill able to break out just in time. One of the new mechanic changes in this game, of course, yeah. is that you can match out of those command grabs as they drag you. So Leon throwing a stock away for no reason. That could have been a huge swing in his favor, though. Yeah. Also, Rob having one of the best recoveries in the game helped him out from that situation, too. Feels like another character, they would have been still dead. 
Okay, Dill playing around on that platform, just trying to find his opportunity to get back to center stage. Okay, we we'll see the follow up, the up throw fair, and another fair push him off stage. No fear of that landing there from Leon. He knows he can stuff it and out. That dealt, that up to a hit below stage. Yeah, he got him with that in the earlier parts of the first game as well. Oh, Dill just trying to take some kind of grimy kill there. Yeah, but no. it's not working out. Dill's getting really desperate out here. You can see just how effective Fire Breath is against a character with no hitbox on their recovery. Oh, it's wow. Out. Another fair. Leon looking for so many game-winning scenarios right now, but I don't think he needs to press the issue too hard. Percents are strongly in his favor, and a full stock up. There yeah. we go, just gonna get the drop zone fair and close it. Ridiculous. Leon, Leon showing his dominance, and this is one of the people that you didn't expect will do so great in Ultimate, like Bowser. And he's just, he's just running stuff. To be completely real with you, man, I thought the Bowser players were going to take a steep dive in results for the early part of the game, of yeah. course, because, you know, Patches. their bread and butter was was out, right? Yeah. And that could bring Bowser back from the depths. If you had 150-plus percent, yeah. one grab at 80, even on a character like Cloud who's fairly heavy or, you know, a little bit above yeah. mid, uh, Mario's weight, could be the end of the stock, the end of the game, right? But instead, we see this character come to the table with a whole bunch of more polished tools, yeah. but less polarizing ones.